Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today, and I hope you enjoy the video. Right, well, um, I'll get into this in a minute, but um, yesterday, me and my good friend Mark, we attended the RC Kicks uh, meet and greet YouTube uh, gathering at Force Raceway um, in Dewsbury. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, we had a, a really, really good time. A uh, great afternoon, well, morning of uh, talking and messing with RCs. And it was uh, a really good day. Now, massive thanks, of course, to um, Gavin and Rebecca for hosting the event. And also um, Force Raceway as well for uh, enabling Gavin and Rebecca to hold the event at the racetrack. It was uh, it was really good and uh, I can highly recommend uh, turning up to the next one if um, they do another event. Also as well, checking out Force Raceway. Uh, really enjoyed the track. It was uh, really uh, good fun. Okay, uh, as well, um, there'll be um, videos to come on that from uh, myself and of course Gavin will have all of his footage from Saturday and Sunday over on RC Kicks. I'm sure most of you um, have seen Gav's channel, uh, but in case you haven't, I'll put a link uh, in the description on this video. Right, so what have I got here on the table? Well, I'm sure most of you know this is a Tania Stadium Thunder from 1996. It's a proper one as well. But um, the uh, really interesting part is what I've got here. Actually, if I could move that over. Uh, now we're going to flop around now because I haven't got anything uh, holding the front wishbones up. Um, we've got this here. It just looks like a, almost just looks like a uh, Stadium Thunder or Blitzer Beater chassis, uh, chassis. It's slightly different though, this. And there you go, look, it has got an alloy chassis. So, um, I'm going to do slightly more detail, but what that is, if you're unfamiliar with it, it is a, a collaboration between Tamiya and Futaba. And they did uh, this uh, collaboration in the early 90s and came up with this, which is the Futaba FXT Stadium Racer. Now, uh, um, if you're unsure, or maybe you've already heard of them as well, there's Poor Boys RC over in uh, America. And um, on the channel there, they had a Futaba FXT. Now, to be honest, that is where... I learned about this chassis. I was already familiar with Tammy's other collaboration, which was the uh, FX10, which was basically a hybrid of the Tommy Striker and the um, Sonic Fighter. But uh, yeah, I hadn't f heard of the FXT until I'd seen Poor Boy's RC channel. So go and check it out if you haven't. Link in the description. Uh, some great, great content on there. So, and also thanks because if I haven't watched that episode, I wouldn't have found out about this. So I thought, yeah, that was rather cool. I like that. So it's somewhere between a, an RC-10T and uh, the Tamiya uh, Stadium Blitzer series of vehicles. Anyway, I was uh, how I came across this, I was just going through eBay, just looking under like RC cars. And I saw this chassis. And it just said, RC's chassis for sale, maybe Tamiya. And uh, I looked at it and thought, that looks really familiar. I mean, it looks tamier-ish, but it wasn't quite the same. And uh, looked up a few more pictures of it, and close up, and I realised what it was. That it was the uh, Futaba FXT. So I jumped on it really because the seller only wanted it's either twenty nine or thirty nine pounds, but I'm sure it's twenty nine pounds, twenty nine ninety nine. I'm pretty sure it was that. So yeah, I thought. Gotta have that. So I bought that, which is almost what we've got here. Uh, and then my plan was to uh, restore it into a 
you know, fully um, working truck again. So that was cool. So uh, it arrived and um, it was a bit grubby and whatnot. So I, I, to be honest, I've already started doing stuff to it. I've already uh, stripped it all down pretty much. Um, so, so I couldn't wait, you see, to get to work. So I thought I'm gonna have to find a donor vehicle as well. And I was looking at Blitzer Beetle, Stadium Blitzers, uh, predominantly and then uh, this popped up stadium thunder now some of you might go well, well, well that's a perfectly good vehicle why are you going to cannibalize that um it's just because that came came at the right price and i wanted a car and um, i could get donor parts from because this is missing some parts i haven't got and um, it's because i want to uh, there's, there's far um there's, you know there's far less of these about than there is of these well, I certainly think so anyway. So, uh, I want to get this FXT Stadium Racer restored. So, yes, so the main differences between the FXT and the Blitzer ranges is this. It came with a ball differential, which seems to be fine, I'll find it out. Uh, the alloy chassis, which I've shown you, and also the shock towers are FRP instead of the usual um, plastic shock towers that you find on uh, these. So that's the main differences. Now, I have fully bore raised it because it didn't have any bearings in. I think it was like, was it brass bushings? Brass bushings and plastic bearings. Anyway, uh, I got rid of all them and I've uh, done the whole gearbox and put bearings in. So I've done all that, rebuilt all that, and uh, now the next stage is cannibalize this. <laughs> um, what I did do as well, is um, I looked, uh, I just looked on eBay to see if anyone was selling uh, new in packet parts for an FXT. And luckily, there was a chap in France uh, selling some parts. And uh, what did I buy off him? He had uh, like brand new gear casing, so I had that off him. He had um, brand new um, U, U bar there that, that holds the wishbones on. I had that because it just had some uh, rusty old screw pins in, which it shouldn't have. So that, and what did I get? Oh, there's a part tree here, which I've cannibalized some parts off it um, already. So it had like a battery retainer. It's got servo posts. It had a new bumper front and rear on it, things like that. So um, I thought, yes, fantastic. I'll have all of those. So all those new parts will be going on to this. Uh, most of them already on here. I've still got to do servo posts, motor cap, uh, rear body mounts. So uh, between the parts I've found and the chassis I bought and the Stadium Thunder we've got here, uh, I'm going to restore it into this working FXT. Also, MCI decals do, and Team Blue Groove do a reproduction body for this. And it's quite specific to this truck because it's a Mazda uh, racing truck. So, um, I mean, originally I was just going to get a Tamiya Stadium Blitzer Beetle or something like that, or maybe something from Proline or J Concepts and put that on. But now, now that I know that uh, Team Blue Group do the body, I would actually like to put uh, a repro body on this. And as I say, MCI do the decals for it. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now, the box art colour is white. I don't know if I'll stay box art colour, and I might even change the colour on the decals, not sure yet, but I do want that, um, you know, the same pattern of decals at least, and the uh, master truck body it should have. So yeah, so now that I've got this, I can crack on more with this, so that'll be fun. I am looking forward to getting that going. Now we will show you this quickly as well. So I thought Stadium Thunder, now I will probably just sell everything on afterwards that I don't take off uh, off this. Now the cool thing is, now the body shell, it, it looks a bit grubby and whatnot, and there's some paint missing off the front bumper. But the body shell actually isn't that bad at all. There's a tiny crack on the bumper there. Ha! I'll just throw it on the floor. Uh, tiny crack on the bumper there. But the rest of it is nice and solid. Uh, it's just really, the paint could do with stripping off. Because uh, I think you could do that. It looks, is it, no, 
I don't know if it was brushed or sprayed. I think it's been sprayed on. Uh, certainly this part here in the load bed might have been brushed on. I don't know. Anyway, I think what uh, yeah you could do, you could strip all that paint off and uh, get the decals off. And uh, you could make a nice shell out of it. Also, I thought when I bought this vehicle, which I think was quite cool, is uh, what came with it as well. Because obviously the chap who was selling this was selling it as a restoration project. MCI, set of decals, new set of MCI decals for the Stadium Thunder. So, put that with that. Fantastic. You can strip that body, repaint it, and then you've got a fresh set of decals for it. So I think that's pretty cool. So, and I say, there you go. That is the uh, rolling chassis. Well, I say rolling chassis. It's actually got everything in it, I think. Do you get it? Yeah, it's got everything in it. The only thing that's missing is uh, the handset, really. The rest of it is a complete vehicle. Now, it is a bit of a shame to split this up, but, you know, I, I want to get this running. Uh, I want to get the FXT running, so unfortunately, it's going to be sacrificed. Now, hopefully, someone who's got any of the other, um, you know, Stadium Thunders, Blitzers, or Blitzer Beetles could make use of the spares off this. Uh, so what are we taking off this then? Well, we're taking off um, the shocks. A bit different to the original FXT ones. I think they were grey or a silvery colour. Um, but I'm going to have these shocks off it. So we're going to take them off. Um, I need the dog bones out the back. I need the steering knuckles and the uh, steering rods. I do need to come off. And I want the wheels and tyres off it. So... Um, yeah, and uh, oh no, the axles as well. I want the actual ax the rear axles. So there's not actually a great deal coming off, so it still should be most of a of a truck really. So hopefully someone should make some good good use of it. Did I say oh yeah? Did I say I want the wheels and tires as well? I can't remember if I just said that, but yeah, wheels and tires are coming off as well. Again, they're not the correct ones for the FXT. But I don't know how easy it's going to be tracking original wheels down for this. I think it's going to be pretty difficult. So for now, I'll have the ones off this and I'll, I'll just look for some. And who knows, one day some FX2 ones might just suddenly turn up. But yes, so um, I hope you like that. I think it's going to be a cool little project. Really looking forward to get that FXT going. I think it's going to be cool. Um, so I'm going to crack on with getting that rolling chassis, chassis up and um, going and sorted out and hopefully soon I will get the body shell and the decals ordered and on their way, fingers crossed. And also as well, I think if you saw my video on the um, Playtron Doberman, I'm pretty sure I filmed it, yes, I'm sorry my memory is terrible, I'm so tired from the weekend that I can't think properly. Um, I want to try and get a replica body for the uh, Doberman, the Playtron Doberman as well, because I can get that from uh, Team Blue Groove, who are going to do the body for this, this even. <laughs> um, right, okay, so I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, cheers for checking this one out, it is much appreciated. I apologise for the uh, tiredness, I say, because uh, before we went to the RC Kicks meet, the night before that, I was DJing. I was doing some other work now. I was DJing and I didn't get home until about one o'clock in the morning. And then I was up at half five, quarter to six to um, get ready and head off with Mark to the event. So I'm still recovering. <laughs> I'm tired. Right, anyway, um, yeah, as I said, we're going to leave this one now. Cheers for checking it out. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the like and notification bell. It's always much appreciated. Thank you for your support and we shall see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.